first and we're going to start mixing them okay now we're going to mix that on uh, we're going to mix that on low while we pour in we're going to go ahead and pour in our sugar Our vanilla. Our salt. And our bacon powder. Let that mix up. And now we're going to mix in the flour. Give that a bigger stir. Okay, I think that looks really good. on this should look 
like this okay so right there now um we're gonna go a step further um and we're going to put our butter we got to take my old trusty campfire stove that I use and I'm going to do this on medium heat. Over medium heat and we're going to start melting our butter and we're going to add our goat milk. Now goat milk is sweeter than regular milk and it's also um, a little thicker than than whole milk it's kind of almost a little bit like cream based it's 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 pretty good you can kind of see how thick that is when I'm pouring it it's really delicious all we're doing is we are just going to melt the butter get this nice and melted completely and we're just stirring occasionally and then we're going to add it to our cake mix. I've reduced my heat to low and we are just getting the goat milk nice and hot and melting the butter and then we're going to add it to our cake mix. This is some leftover goat milk. Mmm, it's so good. It's creamy. You kind of get a buttery flavor and it's it's really rich. It's really really good. Our uh, our goat milk mixture has now uh, is ready. Our butter is melted and it's ready to put into the cake and we are going to put it back on the mixer and mix it up again. This is again. goat approved. Okay, we are going to go ahead and pour the mixture into this. And when you're pouring a hot mixture into something with eggs, you want to pour it slowly so it doesn't cook the eggs. Wait. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, if your cake mix looks like this, it should look just like a cake batter, kind of a thin cake batter. You're right on target. Look how rich and creamy that that looks. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Hey, come here, Tiny. Tiny. Come here. Oh, you're so tiny. Hi, Tiny. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. You saying hi? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take a 9 by 13 just cake pan and we're going to pour it in there. I've greased it generously. I've just sprayed it usually works for me. Oh, uh, it, it, it even smells creamy. It smells buttery and, and delicious. You can smell the vanilla coming through in it. I'm going to just... Oh my goodness. That is going to be delicious. We're going to put this in the oven. No, that tastes like icing. We are going to put this in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes on a 350 degree uh, degree oven uh, that's been preheated and for about 40 to 50 minutes. You can check it with like a toothpick to see if it comes out clean. Let's go ahead.
smells the goat's milk. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? What's up? You got a little cake mix on your lip. Mm. What? What do you smell, huh? What is that? <laughs> you can't have that. No. Guys, okay, now we are going to start making the icing for our cake. While our cake is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start making the we're gonna go ahead and start making the icing for the cake. So we have one stick of butter, we have six ounces of cream cheese. We have one teaspoon of clear vanilla, and I like to use clear when I'm making white icings because it allows the icing to stay more white. And I have three tablespoons of goat, Billy goat milk. So here we go. Let's go. Let's go make it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, we're gonna add our cream cheese first, and we're gonna mix that up. So nice and fluffy. Now we're going to add the butter. We're just going to scrape down the sides. Make sure that it's nice and creamy. We don't want any lumps in our butter or cream cheese. And we're just gonna add our powdered sugar. And we're going to start adding our goat milk. We're going to put this on our cake. Okay guys, our cake is done and it's out of the oven. We have let it cool for about uh, cool for about 30 minutes and we now have our uh, Billy Goat icing that we've made and we have our Billy Goat cake. We're ready to ice this cake. It's our cake. I mean, it's facing the cake right now, so. I mean. All right, and we are just adding that icing right on there. You know what, what I'm talking about when you look at the video. We're just adding that icing right on there. Look at that. That is Billy Goat Cake. It is so pretty. And we are going to cut this and we're <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get us a slice of this. I'm going to get a shot of it. Isn't that pretty, guys? Okay, we're going to we're going to taste this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my cake. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my goodness. You know what is good with I've lost my cake again. <laughs> you know what is would go really good with that is a glass of cold milk to go with that. It is so creamy. It's so buttery. 
it, there is a ton of moisture in it and it's still warm from being in the oven it's absolutely and that that icing the the goat icing it just makes it ever more uh, sweet and and creamy and buttery and you get this powerful cream taste in your mouth and it is so delicious you've got to try this recipe guys that was a wonderful and fun recipe to make um, with you listen me and tiny want to see you on the next episode Come and see us. We love you. We'll see you later. Bye.